in Maysville, just feet away from Rickerby Park. NBC 15's Muriel Bailey was at the scene last night and joins us live there. Muriel, neighbors undoubtedly there are on edge tonight, aren't they? Yeah, Greg, I spoke with two ladies who live here in the neighborhood. They didn't want to go on camera for safety reasons, but one of them tells me that the crime has gotten so bad she's ready to move. <laughs> 3.30 in the afternoon, you can hear children running and playing at Rickaby Park. They're just feet away from where 17-year-old Tidarius Jones was shot and killed nearly 24 hours ago. It's out of control. It's out of control. The kids getting gone. Witnesses say Jones was walking with a group of friends when a car pulled up. They say a guy and a girl got out and started shooting. Police say Jones died at the scene. It's disturbing to me. You know, I mean, it's so many kids around here play at the park. We spoke with Mrs. Covington, a woman who didn't want to go on camera for safety reasons. She says she was outside when about four or five shots rang out. I was sitting on the porch when I heard the gunshots. She says with the violence in the area and the city, she's been living on lockdown. You know, you have burglar bars, you have alarm systems. I don't feel like I'm free. You know, I can live freely. Another woman who lives down the street says crime happens everywhere. Nowhere is actually safe. But she does keep a close eye on her grandchildren when they come over. I would not let my grandkids go down to the park alone. And with the killer still on the run, Mrs. Covington says after living in the neighborhood for 30 years, she's had enough. It's totally different than what it used to be. I told my husband I'm just ready to go. And I did check with Mobile Police today for an update on this case and where they are right now. They are not releasing any new information or details in this investigation. Of course, we will continue to follow this and update you as we learn more. Reporting live in Mobile, Muriel Bailey, NBC 15 News.